Here we go! Alright everyone, welcome back. This is a tutorial on the 1 to 1 scale Republic ATOT, which is something that was only seen very, very briefly in episode 3 of Star Wars. So, yeah, it, it's very obscure. It's sort of like a bridge between the ATT and also the AT80 of the uh, Imperial era. So, it's got <laughs> eight legs, which is pretty strange. Um, we see it very briefly on. Is it Felucia or is it. Is it yeah, I think it's Felucia um, where we see it alongside the Swamp Speeder and a couple of uh, ATTs. And in terms of the scale of this, this is a strange one because I'm technically working from sort of a guess measurement. So the one that's in uh, canon on Wikipedia, I think, is 14.3 meters. However, that is like really tiny. Now, my mindset was that the ATT used to be a much smaller measurement and it was like 13 or 12 meters, something like that. And it was upscaled to 22 meters, which is what we have here. So I took that same multiplier and applied it to the ATOT because I'm assuming the ATOT was based on the measurements from when this was a lot smaller. So this is what we end up with and it does look pretty accurate to what we see in the film. I have gone frame by frame to try and uh, make sure it's about the same size as it should be and it, it does look like it. So, yeah, I just wanted to mention that because obviously it's not the 14.3 meters that we currently have, but it is pretty much what I expect it to be in reality. So there is a cockpit on this. You can see here, uh, there's no minecart for the seat, but it's fine. There isn't really much room in the cockpit. As you can see, it's not even three blocks wide. It's just uh, basically about two and, a, two and a bit, I guess, with the... Well, no, it's two, two blocks wide with these glass panes. So... Yeah, very, very thin. You can see there's little holes in it, but couldn't really be helped, sadly. And um, we've got loads of seats in the back here, which is which is lovely. Plenty of space to sit down. And yeah, it's even better on the 2 to 1 model. There's even more seats and more space, and it's so much more detail. But yeah, this one is uh, pretty nice. And if you want to have like a little Flusia uh, mock or whatever, you can definitely add this in there. So we'll be doing the legs all as one section, and then the body and head is just going to be the standard layer section so it shouldn't be too too bad it should be you know 20 30 minutes and yeah that's all i have to say about it really um again it's not a very well known star wars walker and um, but it's probably one of my favorites i'm gonna be honest with you it's very obscure so yeah let's get into the tutorial we'll do the legs first like i said um and yeah let's go okay the first section that's going to be the legs we're going to need stone Chiseled stone bricks, stone brick slab, stone brick wall, iron bars, dark oak trap door, birch trap door, grindstone, and anvil. Building towards the purple and green crystals, as per usual. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll start this off, and um, we're going to do essentially one leg to begin with, and then I'm going to uh, maybe, I guess, speed up the other ones. I don't know, we'll see how long it takes to do one. Shouldn't take long at all, but whatever. Um, so we're just going to start by, first of all, marking out how wide the legs need to be. So we've got these three blocks in the center here, obviously you don't have this, but essentially you want to have a separation of uh, seven. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. So the other one goes there. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just make sure you've got that and then that's fine. Do one here and here. And then this is going to be a third and a fourth one. I guess we'll do two legs at once and then just stack it by three. That's probably easier. Stone goes in the middle on both of those, and then surround it by stone brick walls. Just like that. Now you need to do kind of like a, uh, you just want to leave a gap essentially. So it's going to be a, uh, just use a temporary block. Do a stone brick wall here, and then this is going to be a grindstone, and you want it facing sideways like that, upside down. So same again, just do it whatever you, uh, you want, it's, it's fine. There you go, so like that. Take the dark oak trap doors on the side and top of the stone root wall, you want to do a dark oak trap door. So just like that. And then on the inside of it now, you're going to do an iron bars there, iron bars here. On top of the iron bars, there's going to be an anvil, and this one's going to be sideways like that. 
the two of those. Uh, on top of that, you want to do a top half stone brick slab. However, what I'm going to do first is take a birch trap door, put that on. Actually, no, it's not going to work. That's yeah, never mind. Uh, do the do another temporary block like that. We use the uh, chisel stone brick again. Um, you're going to do top half one, flip it down. Top half one, flip it down, and then this is going to be a top half stone brick slab in the middle of those two like that. Same again. And then on top it was that, wasn't it? Yeah, there we go. On top of this now, use the stone bricks once more. And that's actually going to stay there this time. It's stone brick walls on the side. And then a stone brick slab on top. Now we're going to do a gap of one. So I guess we'll build... Uh, could make this the front or the back legs. We'll make these the front ones. So going back for, from there, there's going to be a cap, gap of one, and then one, two, three, four. This goes in the middle. Gap of one, one, two, three, four, one in the middle, just like that. And then again, once more, one, two, three, four. And you've got four legs there, so that's good. So essentially, we're going to copy this design here onto the other three, and then we're going to copy it over onto the other side. Um, I'm not going to do it on camera because it just takes so long. There's way too many legs. So we're going to do that off camera, um, but you, you get the gist, it's just that on all of these, and then obviously the side is mirrored. That would, whoa, cool. <laughs> so yeah, get that done and then we'll move on to the next section. Right, so there we go, that's the legs copied over, obviously all four of them are done now. You can remove these temporary blocks, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just like so. And again, we've got the same on either side. Eight very spindly looking legs, but yeah, there we go, whatever. That's uh, that's what they look like, so sure. Again, remember that's the front. We'll be moving on to the main body now, so let's get cracking on. Okay, essentially for this first uh, kind of proper layer, I suppose, I'm going to go to the back feet here, obviously at the very back of the build. Do temporary blocks of seven across. We need these materials, by the way. Polished on the side stairs, polished black stone stairs, stone slab, iron trap door, lever, and line wall. Do three in the center to make four in total along that line. And this is going to be a polished black stone stairs a lever uh, on the back of it and then another polished blackstone stairs and then this is going to be polished andesite stairs upside down. Take a temporary block, uh, oh actually take a lever first, put another one there and then this is going to be a temporary block, one, two, three, four, five, two iron trap doors, two stone slabs, two iron trap doors, uh, one stone slab and then two more iron trap doors just like that. Should line up perfectly with that leg at the front there. Uh, you can get rid of these bottom temporary blocks now. I'd probably keep these ones just for the sake of it, just so you've got a uh, platform to build on, I guess. But yeah, that is literally going to be it for layer one and two. So let's move on to layer number three. All right, layer number three, I guess. So take these materials, stone, sign terracotta, polished, and the side stairs. Ugh, polished black stone stairs. I don't know why I'm out of breath. This is literally just a sentence. Um, stone brick slab, iron bars, and rod. And then we're going to take the polished um, blackstone stairs one there. This is going to be polished on the side stairs again, uh, just like that facing outwards. And then this time put a stone brick slab just there and there as well. Uh, take the stone brick slabs once more and we're going to do one, two, three, one, two, three, there's a uh, top half by the way. Take the stone block one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and on the sixth and seventh, it's going to be a signed terracotta. On the ones in between, polish and side stairs facing outwards. And then in front of this, this is going to be cyan one and two, stone one, two, three, iron bars here. Take cyan one there, one there as well. Polish and side stairs one, two and three, and then one, two, three there. And then in this gap here, it's just an end rod like that. A little bit of uh, underside detail in there, so that's always nice. And that is going to do it for that layer, so let's move on to layer number four now. Okay, uh, layer number four, keep the same materials, just to add in dark oak trap door, polished on site slab, grindstone, and dark oak fence gate. I'm going to go down to here again, another polished black stones. There, you'll notice they're. Uh, going perfectly diagonally there, so that's just something to keep an eye out for, I guess, and make sure you're doing that right. Do another uh, stone brick slab there as well. 
And then this is a stone full block, one and two. Three here. And you're going to essentially do, uh, let's see how many this is actually, six in total. So two, three, four, five, six. So it just takes you up to there. And then do seven and eight. And on the outside, it's going to be cyan terracotta, two of those like that. On the outside of all of these, you're going to do polish on site stairs all the way to there. And then the other way as well. These are all upside down and facing outwards. So there we go, like that. Come into here, do two more cyan, like so. Take the stone block, one, two, and then it's going to be a three by three. This is going to be another stone block just on the front there. And then take the polish on the side stairs facing outwards, one and two, upside down. And then two dark oak trap doors, just like this. And then this is the polished and the side slab, um, just on the end of those, like that. Okay, take the cyan terracotta again, that's going to go just there and on this one. Take the polished on the side stairs, uh, one there, one and two, one and two, one there. And this is going to corner around like that. So you should get this. Finally, take the grindstone. We're going to put that on this stair just here. And on this one as well. Take the dark oak fence gate. That goes in front of it. And then now we're going to take Enrod. And also we're going to take chain, which is something I don't use very often. So do an Enrod first, then the chain. Then the chain again. And then an Enrod. Again, one, two, three and there we go so I think that's everything again for this layer so let's move up to the next one which is layer number 5 so let's go alright next layer up take these materials stone, polish andesite, sand terracotta, stone brick slab polish black stone slab, stone brick wall iron bars, dark oak trap door we're going to start here polish andesite and then this is going to be stone polish, stone, polished so that's 5 in total 6 seven, eight, nine. We're just keeping this alternating pattern going. Uh, so essentially what we should end up with is five sets of polished andesite there, four sets of stone, and then finally add another stone on the back and three stone brick slabs here. Do two polished black stone, one stone brick slab, two, one, and then two again. And then this time it's gonna be two stone brick slabs. So same again here. So two polished black stone, stone bricks, two stone bricks, two and then two stone bricks taking the polished andesite we're going to do one and two here and then again doing the alternating pattern it should line up with the one that's here as well so just keep doing the uh, same thing as what's in the middle like that and then we get to the end here add another polished andesite and then take the stone block and we're going to do five in total like that do a single stone block here another one there and then take the stone brick wall and this is just going to go one and two and then one and two take the same terracotta one two and three and then dark oak trap doors on the side of this like that ideally there would be um, some sort of walkway through here I believe there would be in, in the model since I don't see any other way to get into the cockpit um, I'm guessing Maybe there's a hatch here that would flip open and, and you'd be able to walk through. Um, potentially, I could have maybe done it by taking this block out. However, uh, the seat is in the way of, of actually getting into it anyway, so it wouldn't really make much difference, sadly. Take the stone block, that's going to be one and two here. And then three iron bars, three iron bars. And this is a stone brick wall on the front. Take the iron bar one more time, that's going to go here, and that should join the first leg to the body as well, which is pretty cool. And then go to, let's, let's think of the best way to do this actually, go to the back, one, two, three, one, two, three, with the stone brick wall. Another one here, another one here, and that also joins up to the leg, um, which isn't actually supposed to happen, but sadly it was just the only, well it was the way that it worked out basically. Um, annoyingly but whatever it does get covered up anyway in a minute take the stone block now and this is just going to go all the way across and connect the rest of those legs up they connect directly to the body on this model in particular I think the 2 to 1 has a bit more detail um, in between 
but I suppose we'll see that when we do that tutorial. Um, so yeah. But now all the legs are joined up, so that's that's good. Um, and I think that pretty much finishes the layer. The last thing is just one of the cannons on the back. Well, well two of the cannons, I guess. One light grey concrete here, one there as well. We're going to take N-Rod and just do... Uh, yeah, one and two, and then one and two. Okay. And that is going to do it for that layer as well. So let's move on to layer number uh, six. Yeah, six. Let's go. All right, next layer up. Um, just You might as well keep the same materials at this point. There's no, no point in really changing it. And we're going to take the sign terracotta, do another three here, and then dark oak trap doors again. Just like that. Take the polished black stone slab. We're going to do one here, and I'm going to skip one and do a full block of polished andesite. Take an iron trap door, that's going to go there, and essentially what's going to happen is on top of that there's going to be a redstone comparator. Obviously I'd normally save it for next layer, but I know it's there, so you might as well do it there. And that's the pilot's control panel, which is nice that we've got that in there. Take the iron bars, one on the side, one on the other side, and then one on the front as well. And then this is going to be light grey stained glass pane. Now this cockpit was really tough to design, um, but I think we got a pretty good shape here. Uh, so this is going to be a stone brick wall next to it as well, by the way. I know I'm sort of sidetracking a bit. Yeah, so you've got the glass on the side, obviously you've got um, a lot of the shape and there's just a few little gaps here and there which I couldn't really get around. Um, I'm sure if you use like a debug stick you can make the the wall kind of connect to the neck a bit more and therefore cut out a bit more of that gap but yeah. Uh, so from there take the stone block we're going to do one here one here and then another two stone brick walls like so. And then this is going to be a iron bar just there and one here as well. Take the stone brick wall again, one and two, one and two. This is going to be a dark oak trap door and that's going to go just here like that, one and two, flip those down. And this is a polished andesite stair. That goes just there like that. And take the dark oak trap door uh, as well and we'll use that in just a second. Stone brick wall here, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and the place that we're going to use this is actually just here and um, to sort of cover up that gap just a little bit. I know it's not perfect, but it's it's enough. From there, take the stone block again, one, two, three, three here. And then this is going to be another polished andesite stair. You're going to want to have it facing outwards like this. So just like so. Same again. Just there. And then take a lever, one and two, one and two, and just leave those facing upwards as well. On the inside now, take another stone brick wall, that's going to go here and on this one. And also another two there on the outside. Take the stone block, that's going to be one and one. Take the stone brick wall, one, two, three, and then inwards by one. One, two, three, inwards by one. There's a lot of stone brick walls on this build, I'm afraid. So... Yeah, you need to uh, stock up on those. This is going to be an iron bars here and an iron bars there as well. Just double check that that's uh, right. Don't usually do this, but yeah, that's fine. Cool. Yeah, this is looking great so far. And um, there's a couple more things to do with this layer, so don't get comfy. Do another stem brick wall, one and one there like that. And then we're going to take light grey carpets. And we are going to uh, go back to a previous layer for a second as well. Do the two light grey carpets here, uh, there, sorry, and there. And then on this one, it's going to be a light grey carpet there, there, and there as well. And then take a grey carpet this time, one and two. Almost forgot that. Got away with that, I think. Take uh, dark prismarine stairs now. And this is going to be one, two, three, uh, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five take dark prismarine slab and this is going to be the seats in the middle so it's going to be one two three four basically all the way along this don't know why I'm counting them out just uh, all the way along that little middle strip and 
Yeah, one last thing. Iron bar is just here and on this one. And then I think that that is everything. Yeah, okay. I think so. <laughs> so let's um, let's move on to... What, what are we on there? Layer 7, is it? 1, 2, 3... Yeah, I think layer, layer 7. Let's, uh, let's crack on with that. So um, it turns out this is the, the final section. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Take these materials, iron trap door. I know this is in a weird order, by the way, but this is the order in which we'll need them on this on this section. So uh, yeah, just ignore it. Iron trap door, stone slab, polish on side stairs, stone, light gray carpet, stone brick wall, iron bars, nether bricks, and red nether brick slab. Start with an iron trap door just there. And then a stone slab. This is going to be polished on the side stairs, two of those. This is going to be stone, three of those. And then do a fourth one with a light gray carpet on top. Next up, we're going to take, uh, let's see, what can I get rid of? Can I get rid of anything yet? I don't think so. Uh, okay. We'll come back to that. Take the stone brick walls. There's going to be one here. Iron bar on the left and iron bar on the right. And again, just like that. Throw away, I guess, the stone brick walls for now. We'll need it again later, but whatever. Three polished andesite full blocks. Throw that away. Get the stone brick wall back. This is going to be stone. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Take the iron trap door. One and two. One and two. And this is uh, stone slab three. Three. And then iron trap door, iron trap door. This is going to be a stone brick wall there, stone brick wall there. Take the stone block, one, two, three, four, five. Iron trap door, iron trap door, and again, just like that. Take the stone block here, this is one of the, I guess it's kind of like a shoulder pad. Um, so that goes just there, stone block, nether bricks, and then the slab goes there. Do a iron bars here, and then again, same on this side, just like that. Now throw away these two, and we're going to grab red banner and also light grey banner. Red banner is going to go on this one, light grey on that one. There we go. Uh, so coming back to, to here, I guess, take the light grey banner once more. That's going to go just there. Throw that away. Grab the iron bar here and here. Pretty much fills in all the gaps here as well, which is nice. Take the polish on site stairs, one goes there like that. And then this is going to be three stone brick walls, just like so. Take the polished on site stairs, you're going to do one just here facing towards those stone brick walls. This is going to be a dark oak fence gate, you're going to put that here and then just flip it. Take red nether brick wall now, I'm in the wrong tab, but there we go. One there, one there, and that should connect to the uh, dark oak fence gate fills in a little bit more of that gap again. It's not perfect, but it's close as I could get. Light grey stained glass pane. One, two, and then this is going to be three. And then three on this side with a stone brick wall in the middle. And that should connect up. Again, gaps on the other side is a shame. Although actually, oh, this get filled in, so that's a little bit better, I guess. Polish on the side, stair upside down there like that. This is iron trap doors one, two, and three here. And then on the very front is going to be a crimson trap door. And I have it facing that way with the stripes forward. Okay. Finally, it's just going to be a, I guess you can use like a red or just a nether bricks, I suppose. Um, actually, no, we'll use, we'll use a stone for this. Stone here. And then this is going to be a polished andesite slab. Top half need crimson trapdoor again one just there flip it one there flip it and then finally iron trapdoor on top and a light gray carpet just goes there and yeah i think <laughs> i think that's everything that is uh pretty much the entire thing oh one thing to change actually just to give a bit more detail to this wall knock these out not that one oh, i need the stair one two and then corner that one and again, just like that. 
So this is just a quick build showcase here. So we're going to put shaders on. You can have a little look at this. Um, so you can see it in all its glory. Yeah, it looks really nice. Um, I'm going to show you the 2 to 1 model really quick uh, while, we're, while we're here. I've got a bit of time. So yeah, this looks, you know, it's, it's the same vehicle, obviously, but obviously you've got a much more developed cockpit here. The seats are a lot cooler and there's a lot more of them. Yeah, just way more room. Um, so it's definitely, definitely better, but, you know, for the scale, it's, you know, it's your choice what you want to do with it. So yeah, that was the ATOT. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, thank you for watching the video. On the screen right now you can see a list of the fantastic Patreon supporters who are helping to support the channel. If you want to check out the Patreon and other social medias of mine, you can find them all in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.